when you're buying an avocado, you want it brown and a just soft to the touch, but not mushy. Once it's mushy, then it's sort of gross. Okay? And if it starts, you, you push on it, and the problem is we're all pushing on them, so then we bruise them. But this one's, this one's ready to eat. It's turned brown. It's just like a plantain banana. We use them once they're brown. And then we're going to take a knife, and we're going to cut it right down here. You just keep coming around, and you're pushing the knife against the stone. And then we're going to put our thumbs in here, and we're going to separate it. See how nice this is? Okay. Then where this one with the stone, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm pushing the knife against the stone. I come on around again. And this should come off. And then the stone should come off. And most Spanish people will put the stone right into the guacamole because the stone helps to keep the avocado from turning brown. I have a bad spot right here, so I'm just going to cut that like that. Then you just peel. See how this just peels right off? Okay. Same thing, I got a little bad spot. Bend it back, it peels right off. Same thing here. I can just go like this, and it peels right off. Okay, put that there. This little piece, I'm going to take that off. So now I've got the avocado. I had one that we put in a little baggie. See how my husband used part of it? That he saved the piece with the stone so that it wouldn't turn brown on us. And then on this guacamole, instead of mashing it with a fork, like mashed potatoes or something, I like little chunks. So I just cut it long ways. this way and just cut it into little pieces like this. I do the same thing with potatoes when I'm cutting up potatoes. I cut them long and then come back and cut them short. actually green avocados that never turn brown. 
You want this squishy soft. If you get it squishy soft, you're gonna get more juice out of it. So you can bang a lime to break it down and get it really juicy. If you're making limeade, you can do the same thing with lemons. They go like this, they roll them to get them nice and soft. You can buy this little thing at a Spanish store. When I cut this, you're gonna see the juice come out. And I put a piece in here and just squeeze it. And then all that juice is gonna come out. Lime juice also helps to keep it from turning brown and it gives it a really good flavor. Also, the Spanish will do that with salads. They'll use lime instead of dressing, which saves a lot of calories. We're gonna add a little salt. Just barely any garlic. Not very much. A little bit again of the white pepper. This is the secret. We're going to take just a pinch of this canine pepper. And this is going to make it just a little spicy. Some people put in jalapeno. But this actually can make it, give it a really good flavor. We're going to stir it again. You can also put um, hard boiled egg. Cut it up in little cube shapes just like we did on the tomato and put it in here too. They do that in El Salvador. Okay, and then we're going to taste it. We need a little bit more of this. I can't even taste it. Perfect. Good stuff. Make some. 